company that is pretty spectacular, and this is one of those things. Thanks for watching. This is Jason Ross, even with the KC Auction Company, and I have in front of me Shirley Johnson's collection of Hollywood autographs obtained between what, 1947 and 51. She has the 1 8 by 10 Clark, which you've already seen, which is great, that's selling on its own. But the bulk of the collection is these 14 autograph albums that she would carry with her everywhere. And the amazing part about it is when she would have these signatures and autographs, when she would receive them, oftentimes she wrote down where she was and things like that. So you have her who she is there. We're just going to flip through most of them actually and show you some of the ones that we've kind of highlighted as being better than or more interesting or more important historically, if I can make my fingers work here. Janet Lee. I mean, there's just some amazing names in this collection. And what's crazy is like there's all these other autographs in this front part of this that are, you know, there's a lot of names you'll recognize but aren't necessarily, you know, Raymond Burr kind of quality or, or notoriety. Vincent Price and Mel Torme. Mel Torme. And I put Mel Torme in there because I used to love Night Court and he was such a such a great <laughs> part of that show that uh, kind of showing my age. You know, there's another book here and you know all these different names in the front. And then in this one I only have one page labeled and it is for dun, 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 Ava Gabor. I'm reading these upside down. Um, so some of these books don't have a ton of names that are, are important or, or, you know, that everybody's going to recognize. But if you like Hollywood autographs, you're going to recognize almost every book in here. And I'm reading this upside down. Is that Bing Crosby? Looks like Bing yeah, Crosby. Yeah, that's Bing Crosby. And we are 99% certain that all these autographs are legit. The only Gabby Hayes, the only things that you want... Tonto from uh, Lone Ranger, <laughs> I mean, that's super cool. She would sometimes go to Dale, oh, Dale Evans and Roy Rogers, which is super cool to have both of them in a book on separate pages. I believe one of the other books there, I'm back to back, which I will show you. So most of the autographs in this collection are single sheet. Dean Martin, so he's, the back sides of these are, are mainly empty. Oh, thanks, Ramon. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Jerry Lewis. Yeah, if you have questions as you're watching, please let us know. <coughs> Anna Mae Wong, one of the, you know, considered, widely considered the, the first Asian-American actress uh, in, in Hollywood. Lon Chaney Jr. This is not Lon Chaney Sr. He was passed by this point. But still, his autograph is still, it was still sought. Um, and, of course, The Color of Money. I watched this weekend, so... Uh, the uh, Werewolf of London, he's prevalent in that. Desi Arnaz, and I believe the next one in the book of importance is Lucille. So, yeah, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, and they're both great. Now, Desi's in pencil. Some of these are in pencil. Some of these are in pen. Some of these are in crayon, even. Bob Hope? I can't okay. read. It's, there's a glare across the page, so I was trying to... Yeah, there's Bob Hope. Yeah. <coughs> Another lot of shady. So if we have a name written down in different books or even twice in the same book, it is that same person will sign multiple times. 1947 CBS, Dinah Shore um, Montgomery. Montgomery. There's three instances in, this, in these books where an actress we know as like Dinah Shore cited as her married name. It was Dinah Shore Montgomery, Shirley Temple Agar, and Lauren Bacall Bogart. Um, and all three of those are in here, and I believe I have all three of them. Frank. <laughs> and this is one of the few, she added a picture of Frank in the corner. She must have really had a thing for Frank, which most people did. Um, and then, so here, this is, is that, who is that? Don uh, Amici. Amici. And something McLeod. I can't. But again, June 14th, 1947 at CBS is where she got those. <coughs> we're gonna go through all the books because it really is there's some just some signatures and autographs in here that you just don't expect to find um, Elizabeth Taylor yes Elizabeth Taylor hugely important Jane Russell now she's on the back of something here so that's one of the few 
One of these books has more of that, so I'm not sure who that is. But Looks this, like Jean Taylor, I think. Yeah, but Jane, Jane Russell's on the back side. Janet Lee again. Is that Bunny? Bunny Waters. Bunny Waters. And Amy should be doing this. She knows all these actors and actresses. She loves this time period. <gasps> Abbott, and Abbott and Costello. I mean, how cool is that? Next to each other. Got at the Brown Derby in 1947. Um, these are in pencil, but still really, really cool. Uh, and it's so hard to find a lot of these, you know, actors and actresses, you know, couple, there were a couple, but considered partners at the same place at the same time. Uh, Gene Autry. Sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, who's that one? Is it Walter Winchell? Walter Winchell, yeah. I don't know why that one was marked. I don't know. I was thinking of Winchell, Winchell Donuts. Maureen O'Hara. Yeah, Maureen O'Hara. So again, like most most of these are single sided, but some of them are are you know two on a sheet. Um, this one's I had tagged in that book. <clears throat> these books are all numbered, so if you're looking at the auction online, uh, book number eight will have these autographs in it. And if the entire inventory of autographs that we could discern, that's what our discern discernation is. Um, yeah, Lauren McCall Bogart, um, which is a cool thing to have. Walt Disney, look how strong and beautiful his signature is. I mean, he really, his is one of the most impressive signatures. Man could sign his name. And Shirley Temple Agar. I mean, I don't know about you all, but when I was a kid, staying home from school sick, her movies played on TV almost every day when I was a kid. I watched all of them. On the good oh, ship, God. lollipop, <laughs> it's a sweet trip to the candy shop. <laughs> I was a huge pepper fan. I loved. I had the biggest crush on that girl. Um, so I was thrilled to find her. Dale Evans. I think. Yeah, this is one where Dale and Roy are on the same page. or back to back. So you could, if you were to frame, take these out and frame them, you could do that. You could, you know, put them in a floating frame. Uh, I just want to make sure that you do understand that some of these autographs are going to be like Jackie that. Jackie Coogan. He was a child actor. Judy Garland. Yeah, we have two Judys, I think. Yeah. At least. Oh, that's George Reeves. George Reeves, which we didn't even catch until somebody asked us about it. And thankfully, she wrote down G-E-O period Reeves in the bottom right. Um, and looking, you know, somebody asked about the George Reeves autograph. We're like, we don't have one of those, but there it is. And his autograph is hard to find. Very desirable for his work as Superman, but also in Gone with the Wind, as we understand. Betty Davis. Yeah, another strong, strong signature. And uh, just nice there. Leo DeRocher. One of, if not the, the only baseball player I found in here is Leo DeRocher, Hall of Famer. Um, so obviously he was at the, an event uh, with these other actors and actresses. Natalie Wood. Orson Welles. Marilyn. And at this point in October of 47, Marilyn was, she had had a couple of bit parts in movies. She had done like 30 magazine covers at this point. Um, so we're guessing she was at something that she, you know, with actors that she was working on a uh, production with or that surely had seen her on magazines. But this is an early, early Marilyn autograph um, and just beautifully done. But you can tell, and one of the reasons you can tell as early is that she actually took the time to write best wishes to Shirley. It's a strong signature, uh, just a really, really, really nice example. Uh, hard to find that early for Marilyn because very few people recognized who she was and would do anything about it. Cesar Romero. Yeah, I thought he was pretty cool. And again, this book only has three slips of paper in it. That's not saying there's only three autographs in here worth noting. Uh, Dinosaur Montgomery again? Mm -hmm. Is that the second one of those? Yeah. Very cool. And I think George is like right behind her. Ronald Reagan. Oh, was he? Uh, possibly. It, it was on one of those because I'm sure they were out together. It's like dinner or was that at Sierra's? Yep. Yeah, George Montgomery. At the Biltmore. Well, this book has nobody tagged in it. 
I'll just flip through it real quick again. Her address, if you look at her address, she's, you know, really lived really close to where all these things were. Said Charisse. Yeah. Yeah, just because I said there's not important names doesn't mean there's not important names in here. Um, I can't even see what that is. And it certainly doesn't mean that we didn't miss somebody like the George Reeves. There's plenty of autographs in these books that we did not catch. And again, if you're watching along, the, there's a link to the auction in the description, the title of this uh, post. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and post them or send us a message. And we'll be happy to answer them as best we can. The auction is tonight. There's obviously been a lot of interest and excitement in it. We'd have done this video last week, but I was home sick with a sinus infection. Um, and so we're just doing this on Monday morning. It's a little late for us to do a, doing a video. Some of these books have some condition issues. The, the, the bindings are coming out of a lot of them, but that's kind of a minor, minor thing. Some of these books, like this one's just beautiful. Uh, this is book number 15. This one is almost empty. It's one of the last, the last one that she did. Um, and... Milton Burrow is the only name of a significant note in here that I saw. Um, and if we went through all the names that we ought to recognize, we'd spend hours going through this. This is more just like to give you an idea of what to expect. Um, Gene Kelly. Yeah, Gene Kelly. I just want to say real quick while I'm thinking about it, the one thing that she did in one of these books in the back is, uh, talks about going to the theater. So some autographs are possibly not by these artists and these uh, actors. She would send, as we understand it from the family, she would sometimes send these books backstage with somebody to get autographs. Um, but by and large, these are all legit. Another, Another Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Reagan. I believe there are three Reagans. And he's on the, in this book, he's in the back of somebody. Robert Loffrey? I can't see. Robert Lowry. Robert Lowry. Uh, so Reagan there. And then, what do we got here? Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster. And. Buddy Rogers. Yeah, why did I take this page though? May, oh, Mary Pickford. Mary Pickford, yeah. So those are pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool to see some of the, uh, there were some early, early actors and actresses that were. Um, Larry Three Stooges. I love you decided <laughs> Larry Three Stooges. I thought that was pretty funny. Lloyd Bridges. Lloyd Bridges. Oh, Shelly Winter. Shirley, yeah, very cool. Um, those are the only ones I've tagged in here. Just so much fun. And it's such a cool thing to think about. All right, we have two books left. Let's leave the one with the most tags in for last. They both have a few, though. Um, trying to think we haven't seen yet. Ricardo Montalban, <laughs> and I take that page because my first car was a 1976 Chrysler Cordoba with fine Corinthian leather. <laughs> June Lockhart. <laughs> and what's funny is everybody I talk to about this knows who that is. They're all at least my age. Uh, Doris Day, Henry Ford. Oh, and here's... Um, to Shirley, all best wishes to my most loyal, play-going partner. Um, so she went to a lot of plays and theater, and that's where she got a lot of these autographs too. So this book has a lot of pages. Kirk Douglas. Douglas, Kirk Douglas mm -hmm. Danny Thomas. Thomas. Johnny Weissmuller. Tarzan. Olympic athlete. I mean, just, I'm not going to do the, the Tarzan yellow, but. Okay, please don't. <laughs> uh, Hoppy. Um, Bill, Bill Boyd, Hoppy. Played Hoppy in uh, Hoppy Long Cassidy. Oh, that's Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Jo George Burns and Gracie Allen. How cool is that? I mean, I just. It's hard to remember because I only know these people being old, but at this point they were young and vibrant and 
you know, George and Gracie out on the town at uh, Ciro's and 47. Um, and Shirley had the wherewithal to get all these people to sign her books, and they all did it. Jimmy Jim Stewart. Stewart. John Wayne. Uh, of course, his, his legacy is tarnished a bit uh, because of how we've changed as a society. Still an incredibly important actor. Um, but that's, that's kind of it. Folks, we don't get a lot here that's really super exciting. We get a lot of things that are great. But this collection, when we got the emails about it, it just we all got excited to see it in person. When it came in, we got even more excited. And as the auction is closing tonight, Monday night, we got even more excited. If you're watching, you have any questions, let us know. Send us a direct message. You can always call us at 816-283-3633. Send us an email at info at kcauctioncompany.com. Or just drop us a note here on the, the post. Happy to see you guys. Good luck in the auction tonight. There's only be one winner of this. Hopefully it's an institution is what we're hoping for. Otherwise, have a great holiday season. And we have coins in you tomorrow. And have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.